It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Monday, August 14th, 2023. Number one. Over 70 years ago, Henrietta Lacks was a mother and tobacco farmer who sought medical treatment for cervical cancer at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland. Researchers discovered the uniqueness of the black woman's cells, the source of the HeLa cell line. In 2021, the Lacks estate filed a lawsuit against the multi-million dollar biotech company Thermo Fisher for profiting from the HeLa line without consent from the Lacks estate. On what would have been the 130 Third birthday of Henrietta Lacks, family attorney Ben Crump announced a settlement. Terms were not disclosed. Number two, the devastating wildfire on the Hawaiian island of Maui was officially declared the deadliest in U.S. history. As of Sunday, the number of dead was 93 and expected to climb with hundreds of people still missing. In West Maui, over 2,000 historical and cultural structures, mostly residential, have burned along with vehicles creating a steel graveyard on parts of the island. The search and rescue operations have stepped up following the arrival of National Guard troops. Number three, the Black Health Matters column Monday focuses on the rare disease amyloidosis. It's characterized by a buildup of abnormal amyloid deposits in the body. Amyloid deposits can build up in the heart, brain, kidney, spleen, or other organs, and a person may have amyloidosis in one organ or several. In the case of one health reporter, this mysterious disease affected their mother's heart. Read more about it in today's newsletter. Number four. Kenosha, Wisconsin police are under fire after arresting and charging the wrong people after a traffic accident. Officers responded to reports of a rollover crash near an Applebee's restaurant where multiple people fled the scene. According to a criminal complaint, an African-American male and African-American female with a baby fled towards nearby stores. Police encountered Jamel English, who was with his wife and holding their baby. Cell phone footage shows employees grabbing the baby and passing it off as multiple officers tackled English to the ground. The Kenosha Police Department is conducting an internal investigation as the real couple was discovered in the restaurant. Number five, the biblical meaning of blessed is to be fully satisfied due to God's favor on your life, regardless of your circumstances. Some of the blessings that matter the most are Christ dying on the cross for our sins, God's forgiveness, and God's presence with us always through the Holy Spirit. You may ask, how do we unlock God's blessings? Simple, delight ourselves in Him. Read more about what it means to be blessed in today's newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being open to things that you don't know or understand leads to an opportunity to grow. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with social justice contributor Coy Malone and comedian Chris Paul as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Barbara Scotia College and HBCU in Concord, North Carolina needs our help. The What You Need to Know team is asking our supporters and alumni and friends of Barbara Scotia to help them meet their immediate and pressing needs by donating to help Barbara Scotia rise. Please join the thousands of donors from around the world who are stepping up to save one of the nation's oldest HBCUs. Visit SybilWilkes.com for more information. Celebrate black filmmakers rooted in HBCU culture at HBCU First Look. It takes place November 10th through the 12th at Howard University. Visit HBCUFirstLook.com for more information. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.